kwa mara nyingine tena tunawaleta mazungumzo kuhusu uh, afya ya akili uh, mental health uh, awareness na um, tuna wataalamu wetu wawili hapa na uh, tutategemea wengine wao wakajoin baadaye um, ambao wata wata share experience yao jinsi ya um, katika kupambana na matatizo ya afya ya akili katika community zetu katika jamii zetu za Kiafrika na minority zetu kwa hasa kwa hapa UK uh, lakini kama kuna experience ambayo mtu ameipata akiwa labda nyumbani Tanzania au sehemu nyingine yote it be nice um, kusikia uh, uh, na kushare hicho kwa hiyo hapa nafikiri kwa mta wakaribisha kwanza Dr. Fi na da Patricia hapa wajitambulishe kwanza uh, tukianza da Patricia mpangala hebu naomba ujitambulishe kidogo hapo kabla tujaendelea sana Hello everyone. Mimi naitwa Patricia J Mpangala na ufanya kazi in a community as forensic psychiatric practitioner and in prison and I yeah so I'm one of the two headers uh tr- what is it called the admin trustees <laughs> members. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay, asante. Okay, Dr. Pendai. Karibu. Asante. Mimi naitwa Dr. Fee Pendaeli, ni daktari bingwa ma tatizo ya afya na magonjwa ya akili. Niko Manchester na mimi nafanya community um, hasa wale um, ambao wana haja wana, wanahitaji kuonwa nyumbani badala ya kwenda kwenye clinic au maodini. Asante. Asante sana. Nafikiri hili swala ni uh hata mpokuja kwenye mambo ya afya ya akili na katika community zetu pamoja kwamba wataalamu wazawa tunao katika jamii zetu lakini nafikiri wengi uh, wanakuwa kama vile hawaamini hawa kwamba nikaenda nikiongana na simbu swala langu ili itakuwa kama jamii nzima itajua na pia waelewe kwamba sisi we are professionals na you know what happened the office stay in the office kwa hiyo nafikiri hili ni tatizo moja kubwa sana sasa nikikushia dr pendaeli hebu naweza kaelezea vipi <laughs> kwamba ili kuongeza la wena kwa sababu ndugu zetu wana they suffer lakini nafikiri kupata ile huduma wanakuwa kidogo na wasiwasi sasa nao wape kama reassurance kwamba it is safe to talk to to us kama ndugu zao na ambao tunamtaka kuwasaidia Karibu. Asante. Ni sawa kabisa unavyosema. Uh, na nafikiri nilibusia kidogo kwa mbali katika session yetu iliyopita ambayo tulikuwa tunaangalia watu wa um, masuala haya haya lakini kutoka kwa um, wa, 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 wa watu wa dini, uh, religious leaders na watu ambao wanakutana na watu wenye matatizo ya afya ya akili na jinsi wanaweza kuwasaidia au kuwashauri. Kitu kikubwa sana ni ni unyanyapaa au stigma. Hicho ndio kitu kikubwa sana kwa sababu mtu anapoanza kuzungumzia tu afya ya akili. Translation yetu ya afya ya akili ni kichaa. Na ukisema kichaa kila mtu anamuona yule aliyeko kule barabarani amevaa magunia na pokea mwenyewe nywele hazijachanwa sijui zinachawa nini. The, the, the extreme end ya matatizo ya afya ya akili ndio kitu cha kwanza kinachoingia kichwani mwa watu. Kwa hiyo hata ukimwambia kwamba ana hizo dalili yeye tayari ameshajiona amefika kule kwenye hali mbaya zaidi wakati ni vitu viwili tofauti tofauti kabisa yani unaona kwa hiyo sasa tunawezaje kuwasaidia jamii kuelewa kwamba afya ya kili sio lazima ile levo ya kichaa umeona eh ni vitu vya kawaida kabisa kila mtu utamsikia msongo wa mawazo msongo wa mawazo sasa msongo wa mawazo ni nini kwani si ndio yeye afya ya kili yenyewe <laughs> Maana ukianzia mfungo wa mawazo unaendelea ama ni wasiwasi lopitiliza au anxiety au unaendelea depression umeona eh kwa hiyo iko mahali inapoanzia umeona na vitu vya kawaida kabisa ambavyo watu wanalalamika vinajulikana umeona kuwa na wasiwasi si tatizo lakini kuna fika wakati umefitiliza kuliko kawaida lakini bado mtu anakuwa haoni kwamba hiyo ni muhimu kumuona mtaalamu kwa kuanzia stage hiyo tu kabla hajafikia mbali. Maana baada ya hapo ndio sehemu zingine za maisha yake yanakuwa yanaathirika. 
nafikiri niishie hapo kwa kifupi okay kwa hiyo uh, patricia una la nyongeza la sana sana pende uh, patricia yes ni kwa okay. ningependa ku add kuna hii ukiufanya na black community wengi wana there is a mistrust, mistrust of treatment <clears throat> unajua kama example give an example recent covid where a lot of black people they felt like they're coming for us is it down enda kutua tu it's the same as that nani mental health a lot of mental health patients especially kwenye community zetu ambazo i would say mistrust of treatment na peer culture as well differences about tuligusia last time as well to vongea so mistrust, mistrust of treatment comes in where unakuta anafikiria akienda atapewa dawa ambazo zita probably mu affect ye kuto function kabisa completely anaweza akafikia ndo ananienda kuniua maana wengi wakianza kuwekewa kupewa dawa kwa mfano depo injection wanaanza kusema kuwa oh zina stop wanakuwa functional sexually is it uh, dr fia hmm. wanakuwa ga sexual sasa ile na yenyewe wanaanza kuambia everyone family nini kwa ile inafanya kabisa watu wanakuwa wanaogopa hata kwenda for further help anaanza kuwa anaenda wengi wanakuwa wana complain kwa mfano wanaume I can't serve my wife kwa jini nimepewa hizi dawa kwa hiyo unakuta labda either walielezewa nani um, you know side effects uh, treatment lakini mm-hmm. wow wana they take it personal when a lot of black people when mm-hmm. mambo ya mistrust of treatment they take so much a little bit personal unakuta mm-hmm. dawa wakiwa wamepewa dawa wana compare with other parties kwa mfano white kwa mbona our dawa zao ziko less dosage na sisi is high afu ta families nakuwa wana inquire sana unakuta a mother will probably call or, or dad or uncle will call me and say if hii dawa ni kweli afu atataka ku approach a black professional that's why it's very mm-hmm. important we should have black professional kwenye hii kwenye kwenye mental health because they tend to trust with my experience they, they tend to trust more black than the white because mm-hmm. anya unaweza hata uka easy up their worries kuambia kuwa you know hii dawa can probably yes kuna side effects lakini like itasaidia hivi na hivi even though ataambiwa the same the same same thing na white people lakini kuna hii mistrust, mistrust of treatment ambao they they tend to have domana sometimes they don't really go near to ask for help na like i mentioned as well culture you know is probably overlapping with the mistrust of treatment it's the same thing culture wise where you know like you know is more religious kama alivosema dr fiel gusia kusema kuwa you know tonekana kicha nini lakini sasa unakuta culture wise unakuta ile people don't believe in kuwa na matatizo ya akili wanaona nikisema you know i will i will look like you know wengine wanawake wanaogopa kwa mfano wanawake they they scared they will lose their children you know atachukua wanaenda mbali wanafikiria watoto watachukuliwa into care unajua kuna wa Tanzania wengi kama tuki, nikisema kwa mfano AI wa Tanzania kuna Tanzania wengi ambao ni mental health wanawake we operate with them on daily basis we see them kwenye parties kwenye function lakini they scared nikisema watoto wangu watachukuliwa you know mm. ni wa, they they not they really scared kwa uh, kuna full support ya kuwasaidia kuwa probably kuwa reassure kuwa it's not about uh, they just scared kwa hiyo i think is more um, awareness you know of asking people to come forward and you know to be rest assured we are here and we can definitely help and support on one to one hata kama we are not under that barrel of the team we can always go with them in the service and bow their 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 um, their refer to with their gps like in yeah kuna that's that's a big issue that we face thank you great um asante sana je kwenye hapa na kuna Dr. Salim upo, Bupe upo, Hamza wote have any of you guys came across any other challenges just if you know or had anything that we can talk about? Dr. Salim. Um <coughs> oh, Bupe. Yeah. Me I would like to second uh, what uh, Dr. Fee and uh, Patricia have shared. Um around the issue of stigma and also the issue of um, mistrust uh the issue of mistrust i think it, it's very founded uh especially for the uh, the, the black minority uh, community uh here in uk because we have a, a system where treatment records are, ca- are captured 
Um, and then you go to certain professions or even certain um, uh, courses uh, within university that requires uh, a mental health check or even a background check. Now, uh, I'm speaking on an experience where myself, I've gone for um, a, a job in the past that uh, involved a mental health uh, check. Uh, now, <laughs> uh, you can imagine as a candidate, immediately when you see that one of the requirements is going to be a mental assessment, you panic. Mm -hmm. um, even when you're well, you panic. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's, it's normal to be scared that what are they going to dig up or what are they going to find in my medical records? Because that process involves uh, accessing, you giving consent for your medical records to be accessed by a third party to verify that you are well uh, to perform a task. Um, or to be enrolled in a program of, of some sort. So in that situation, as an individual, uh, not only do you enter into a, a temporary depression and stress, a uh, high level stress, because you you start wondering, thinking back, you know, when did I last see the doctor and I complained about uh, mental instability or stress or depression? Is this going to prevent, prevent me securing this job or course? Um, so when these experiences are shared um, with family and friends, which we do, um, uh, that, look, I've needed to do this type of assessment, I can imagine um, anyone else is now realizes next time they ask, can you give consent for your medical records to be shared? Or can you say when you're feeling depressed, you, you, you think twice. Um, I know for sure I have. I've thought twice to complain about my mental state because I don't want it captured in case I ever have to surrender my medical records. So how do we address this? It will be very interesting um, to discuss as a panel um, on how do we address the stigma attached to our mental health. It should not be something that people are discriminated against or even made to be worried to uh, when it's seen in their records. I think at the moment, um, the state of the fair, as we saw from coming out of COVID, um, th this is still very much an issue. It can be held against you. So there are many people who are suffering in silence because they are afraid of those replications uh, that may, uh, information might leak, or may be shared um, under those circumstances. Um, then uh, the stigma issue around our culture and religious belief. Uh, we had our religious leaders last week, and it was very interesting to hear them also speak of the fact that um, prayer is one thing, but also recognizing when to refer someone or to, to, to encourage someone to seek medical attention. Uh, this is something that is needs to be our goal as a community to recognize our peers, um, regardless of profession or, or, or age or experience. Um, when we feel one needs to be asked, are you okay? Do you need help? Or can I recommend that you speak to someone? Um, it's something that we, we are starting to do as a society here in UK, but I think we need to encourage this similar adoption um, back at home because I feel there people are scared, absolutely scared. Everybody's in hiding who is suffering. Um, you would hear people who say, oh, we don't marry into that, uh, uh, that part of the country because they are known to be crazy. Um, mm -hmm. You know, uh, mm -hmm. they're discriminated even for children who come home and say, I found a boyfriend, I found a girlfriend, and their parents will discourage them and say, no, 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 that family has a history of mental health, like it is a plague or something. So we really need to address our uh, old beliefs and educate each other on changes there uh, before we can even start e explaining what kind of assistance is, is available. Um, that's all I wanted to um, share.
Okay. Uh, asante sana Bube kwa kwa mtengo wako. Uh, kuna mwingine ambaye ana issue ya kuongeza hapo na da, sana ameingia sasa hivi Dr. Hamza, Dr. Salim. And now we say yeah. yes. I think I would like to add in terms of uh, I mean looking from service provision side what we notice is within the BME communities there is um that feeling of um family affair rather than client centered so the family members feel that they have right to ask information about the patient now this is this is something which sometimes needs a lot of balancing because back at home there's no such thing as counseling per se i mean the counseling at home is done within the family spheres i mean if even the word counseling is heard to hear uh, that a person goes for counseling a counseling is normally given uh, informally within the family spheres uh which sometimes can take a very rough side by through blames and not supportive you are being blamed for what you are rather than being supported I mean sometimes if a patient is lucky they do get support and 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 that um sort of um if i use the word huruma for being in that state but most of the times what happens is you are blamed for what you are i think this has been discussed already mm. but again what comes out normally is the parents and family usually feel that they have the right to know each and everything about the patient and this is goes against the service provision here because in terms of confidentiality unless the patient says that i'm happy to share this information with mom dad sister or brother then we are not bound to give that information to any family member and and that is something which sometimes you hear it's coming from a very good side the father wants to know what they can do for the for their for their son or their daughter but it's against the practices and uh the patient themselves sometimes they say don't tell anybody about this because um sometimes even they don't want the the, the family to know that they are attending such a service so there is such a, a conflict of interest to where the family members feel they have a right to know each and everything about their family member while the practices and um the codes don't allow that to happen another thing which i wanted to mention is um as i've already said when you offer counseling to such patients normally the uptake i don't know how others feel but the uptake is normally not that great people feel like counseling is not for me it doesn't help me you just remember you just remind me of the same problem now counseling and psychotherapy is meant to to enable the person to go through the the root causes of 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 the problem and where possible be part of the recovery journey but um as i said i would like i would really like to hear from the experience of others but when you compare the uptake of psychotherapy and counseling services between the bme communities and the and, and the white community you find um white communities will be waiting and looking forward for such um uh, stage of therapy to start the counseling and psychotherapy but with the bme communities normally it's like not not for me i don't want it because it's not helping me um those are the two areas i wanted to 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 to, to share to start with but um i think is it was fee or i don't know who for who who said that um the issue of religion here so sometime when it comes to substance misuse for example um it's a no go area for some of the relig- some of the religions and is if a person happens to be misusing substances then again you are not part of us you are not our family member so go and deal with your problems yourself and therefore that support which you might need at that very difficult time 
within some cultures and within some communities you find that you are not getting it because you are totally excluded you are not part of us you are going against the religion you are going against our culture why you are using is not seen as a condition that can be treated and with your help as a family you enable the person to recover so you find that sometimes it's compounding the problem of, of the patient because um it, it's a very important part of the recovery but if the patient is not getting that then they have to go with what is available outside which sometimes cannot always be available or even if it's available it's not conducive in terms of the recovery or therapy of the patient thank you just wanted to add that okay so sana sana dr tanza kuna kusema kidogo eh ninayo mengi kusema labda niseme tu kwamba wengine wamesema mengi lakini moja ya vitu ambavyo vina tuathiri watu wa tunasema wa ethnic minority au watu ambao si wa mataifa ya watu waupe hasa si wa Afrika ni kwamba wengi wanakuwa hawakubali kama alivyosema dr fi kwamba kuna kitu kama hicho cha kuumwa ugonjwa wa akili au kutokuwa kuwa na mental health yani kwamba hawaamini kuna kipindi nilongea kuhusu dementia ambao mara nyingi nao we, madaktari mabingwa wa mental health wamekuwa nazungumzia ni kwamba hata dementia tumekuwa nimeizungumzia ni wengi nyumbani hawaeleka kuna dementia na vile vile community yetu lakini kwa mental health ni vile vile watu wanafikiria kwamba hana msongo wa mawazo au depression au hana ana ana wasiwasi wasi ambao mnaita anxiety au ana problem zingine za ugonjwa wa akili namba moja namba mbili ni kwamba labda wengine wanajua hawajui ambao wako kwenye mazingira hapa Uingereza e, na Ireland kwamba pengine hawajui hata kama kuna msaada unapatikana ndio maana utakuta wengine wanaweza kuongea kwenye family au marafiki au wakaenda kwa viongozi wa dini hilo ni moja. Ya pili kuna wengine ambao bado wana matatizo ya lugha. Mm. E, Blango jiberia ni problem kwenye baadhi ya familia. Tumeweza kukutana na wagonjwa wengi ambao hawaongei Kiingereza. Kwa hiyo hata sengine unamfahamisha inabidi anakuwa haelewi au mpaka ubuku e, e, tafsiri. E, swala lingine ni kwamba e, wanaweza ikawa huduma zingine wanakuwa hawazifahamu au hawana uwezo wa pesa kwa mfano walivyoongea dr Muhammad kuhusu counseling counseling sio huduma ambayo sasa hivi inapatikana kiraisi kwa hali ilivyo na wengine wanatakiwa kama kupata counseling wana inabidi waende kulipia ambao ni private kwa hiyo inakuwa ni ngumu au sengine mtu anaona sio muhimu au hawana umuhimu wake au hana uwezo e, maswala ya kama hayo ni tatizo vile vile kiangalia na kwamba watu wa ethnic minority ambao mnaita BMAE kuna kwepo kwao kuna kitu kinaitwa healthy and social inequality hasa hilo ni tatizo lakini tu kwamba labda turudi nyuma ningependa tu kuuliza wataalamu je hawa watu ambao kama sisi ambao ethnic minority au BMAE je tunaathirika sana au e, sio sana kulinganisha na o, wa, wazungu alafu ya pili ni vitu gani hasa vinatoaffect sisi watu wa BMA e, wa ethnic minority kuwa na matatizo ya akili is it isolation is it mazingira is it je ni ubaguzi wa rangi au e, na vitu kama hivyo alafu labda ningeweza kuulizia je tunaweza tukafanya nini kuweza kusaidia jumuiya zetu maana kuna kuna watu ambao wamecommit suicide au wanakuwa aggressive kwenye familia mm, divorce rate zimekuwa kubwa kwenye jumuiya zetu zote zinazikana ikawa ni afya ya akili pengine ningeuliza utumiaji wa madawa kwenye hizi jumuiya zetu kuna watu wa taifa ambalo siwezi kusema wengi huwa wanatumia hivi vitu vya kuvuta kama bangi watoto wetu wanapokwenda kwenye mazingira ya shule huko wanaanza kutumia dawa ambazo ni za tembe au zile gesi tunaita laughing gas wengine wameweza kwenda kuwa spike kwenye drinks na wengine wameanza kutumia miadharati kama cocaine heroin jazz na affect vipi 
e, vitu kama hivyo labda mgeza kutufunua kidogo kama nilikutana nazo labda mtaalamu Patricia kwenye maeneo yako dakika e, dabupe mtuweze kutufahamisha sisi ambao ni lay people kwenye community tutapataje msaada asante asante sana dr dr hamza kwa kwa mambo yako tunaona hapa katika common theme mambo ambayo chambao zipo ni sure kwamba kuna kwa ile ipo ile mistrust ya medical professionals uh, our cultural beliefs ya imani zetu na vile vile kuna misinformation katika community zetu ukichanganya na stigma uh, na kingine nafikiri ni umaskini kote ina contribute to uh, kikubwa sana kwa watu kama wengi um, poverty na language barrier ni vitu ambavyo vinasababisha wengi washindwe um, kwenda kutafuta uh, huduma uh, the afya ya akili sasa nafikiri nikirudi kwa dr dr fi katika hiyo line of work je unaweza katu tufafanulia vipi kwamba hizi challenges tutazikabili namna gani karibu dr dr fi asante ni ngumu <laughs> yeah, i know <laughs> i know it's not easy but do your best <laughs> Ni ngumu sana kwa sababu samani ku interrupt sorry karibu uh, asante asante mimi naitwa Salna karibu na ni member wa Tuheda ndio na pia nafanya kazi kwenye communities kabla dada Fia jesema dr Fia jesema kitu chochote nilikuwa naomba ni unge kidogo sawa perspective yangu ya mental health and well being na pia kuhusu hii ni kuhusu community kwa sababu naweka nafanya kazi kwenye community na pia uh, hapa prob, na pia na nyumbani uh, ni tatizo kwa kweli kwa sasa hivi ni tatizo kubwa na inawezekana sio sasa hivi tu ilikuwa ni tatizo zamani lakini sasa hivi ndio imeongezeka ukiangalia uh, watu wengi wa kutoka katika hizi community nikiongelea kwa hapa wana uh, wako katika low income ah uh, hiyo mm-hmm. ni yani um, kuna mtu ame point out, out kuna ni kuhusu na ni kuhusu uh, poverty inequalities actually amezungumza kuhusu inequalities so kuna inequalities ya yeah, in particular in quality in health na kwa sababu watu wengi mara nyingi wanakuwa hawako aware hawajui au kuwa hawa, hawako informed education ni power na unakuta lakini watu hawana hizo information uh, kuhusu ni actually na ni zile na ni signs za kwanza kuonekana kuna kuna sign nini unatakiwa ujue nini yani kama huyu mtu ana mental health unatakiwa sign zitu zione kwa hiyo naona education ni key katika familia zetu kwa sababu ni kitu ambacho sisi hatuja back nyumbani hatukua tuna hatujui kwanza mental health ni tukua hatujui na ni hata jina ilikuwa sijui ni kichaa kitu kama hicho ilikuwa yani nani yani ilikuwa ni vitu vya kawaida na ni wanaona inaonekana tu kama ni kawaida mtu akiwa na na nani mental health na, unaona tu yani unaona mimi sasa hivi nikienda nyumbani actually nikiona na nimeona huyu mtu ana mental health lakini people are just you know get on with their life their life wana yani they have wana just yani wanaendelea na huku pia inakuwa hivyo hivyo lakini sasa inakuwa zaidi kwa sababu mazingira tunayoishi na mazingira ya upweke na pia language barrier alivyosema uh, dr Hamza uh, na pia kitu kingine papo watu wanaweza kuwa aware lakini hawako yani hawakubali unaona mm. hawakubali yani hawakubali na wataki kusinani service ni ile stigma kuhusu yes. mental health mm. sana 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 nafikiri 
nafikiri uh, mambo sawa na kiao na ongea tayari umesema nini hapo tunachotaka tutafute so, so, solution what can we do a uh, solution a uh, kuna yeah. yeah. kitu pia mmezungumzia kuhusu nani kuhusu a uh, mmezungumzia kuhusu maskini na kuna kitu pia tuangalie nani um, dr hamza amezungumzia kuhusu kuhusu ndoa zinavyo zinavyo nani ndoa kuachika unakuta nyumba nyingi wanakuwa na na nani mmoja mzazi mmoja kwa hiyo kwanza mimi nilikuwa napenda ningependa nione tuheda kama tuheda kama ni hapa inaitishwa mkutano wa wanaume tu kusema kule ningekuwa safi ingekuwa safi sana discussini kuna issue kubwa watoto wetu wako yani wako wengi sana wanaishi single nani wanaishi na mama tu unaona kwa hiyo kubwa yani natakiwa mfanye kuanza kwanza iwe discussion hiyo alafu vinginevyo vifuati kuna mambo mengi sana natokea okay sasa okay sasa na sana so samani huko kati no no thank you for your contribution mkuta mkutano wa baba akama lazima lazima aya na na pia na mambo endele sawa nashukuru sana ume nafikiri sana amechangia kimoja hapo nilichotaka kuzungumzia katika kusaidia kutafuta utafiti ni masuala ya awareness na katika masuala ya awareness nafikiri tukiweza kujitahidi kuiweka nafikiri ni ni nani Hamza alizungumzia kwamba sio watu wote wanaofahamu Kiingereza wengine hata ni Kiswahili tu au kwa kwa society nyingine au ni kiasi au kitu cha lakini kwa hiyo tukiweza kuhakikisha awareness inakuwa katika lugha ambayo inaweza ikawafikia wengi then hiyo itasaidia halafu vile vile shida ya unyanyapasi sijui tutaifanyia nini Eh, nafikiri awareness nayo itasaidia kufanya hiyo kwa sababu unapokuwa katika ile hali ya unyanyapao stigma inakuwa ngumu sana wewe kujieleza tatizo linaloendelea matokeo yake unachelewa kupata msaada unaotakiwa unaona na hali ya, yako inazidi kuwa mbaya kwa sababu hujaweza kupata ufumbuzi wa matatizo ulionayo kitu kingine nafikiri, nafikiri vile vile Hamza amechangia ni swala la uh, uh, bupe nafikiri bupe amechangia na vile vile kwamba watu wengine hawajui ha, ha wapi wakapate msaada sasa hata kama anafahamu eh ana matatizo anaendelea hajui akapate wapi kwa hiyo nafikiri area ya kufocus vile vile ni kwamba kama tunaweza tukawa na sessions za kusema okay kuanzia stage hii wewe umejisikia hivi mtu wa kwanza akumwona nani kama kwa hapa UK mtu wa kwanza akumwona labda GP wako GP ana uwezo wa kutibu magonjwa mengi tu ya, ya afya ya akili bila kuhitaji mtaalamu wa afya ya akili kwa hiyo unaweza kuanzia hapa umeona halafu GP wako akisha kuona akishindwa anajua jinsi ya kufanya hiyo referral kwa ile the whole process kuanzia toka wewe unapoanzia kusikia hali yako sio nzuri what is the first step second step na vitu ili wewe ujue kitu kitakachofuata baada ya kwamba GP wako labda ameshindwa kukusaidia hiyo ni moja alafu um, kingine vile vile sasa umeshaonwa umepewa ushauri Hmm? ushauri unaweza ukawa kutumia dawa au ushauri unaweza kama kisaikolojia au vyote viwili kitendo cha kukubali mimi na mifano halisi ya watu ambao nimeshafanya consultation nao na you can see kwamba hapa bila dawa hatuwezi kusogea mbele kwa sababu huwezi kufanya psychology kama akili haijatulia kidogo lakini katu katu na Tanzania hawataki kusikia dawa ya afya ya akili hata siku moja wako wachache sana watakubali lakini ni waoga kweli wa kutumia dawa. Psychology anaweza akaenda lakini ukishamtajia dawa na kwambia mimi niambia tiba yote lakini usitaki dawa. Haya, kesha kuwekea limitation wewe <laughs> daktari unayemshauri unafanyaje vitu kama hivi. Halafu um, kikubwa zaidi vile vile ambacho sijui tutaweza kukiaddress namna gani ni sisi wenyewe kufanya hayo mabadiliko wewe kama mtu mwenye matatizo ya afya ya akili sisi kama watanzania sisi ambao tuna kwa namna moja au nyingine tunapata hizo athari za afya ya akili kufanya mabadiliko tuna mila zetu tumekuja nazo zingine haziendani na system kama Salim Musa services zingine kama ni kidini sijui vitu gani lakini kuna vitu fulani tumekuwa navyo tunavyo siku zote miaka yote ndio tulivyo tunafika huku havitusaidii sana katika ku, um, 
katika kurekebisha afya zetu za akili zinapopata matatizo. Similarly kama acha mila kuna desturi alafu plus huo uoga. Kwa hiyo kuna vitu ambavyo sisi wenyewe tunatakiwa tuchukue real responsibility ya kufanya hayo mabadiliko ili tuweze kupata access na hizo services ili tupate msaada. Unaona? Kwa hiyo hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo nafikiria tujaribu kuangalia hizo levels tofauti tofauti. How we gonna do it I don't know. In terms of awareness kama nilivyosema uh, before najaribu kutafuta wataalamu Tanzania Kiswahili ku translate baadhi ya pipeperushi kwa watu kuelewa kama depression so naona kwa Kiswahili dalili zinafananaje unaenda wapi na most of them ni kwa ajili ya huku UK lakini watu wa Tanzania wanaweza wakaangalia wakachambua waka kile kinachowafaa wao na jinsi watakavyoweza ku access hizo services kule nyumbani naomba niishie hapa Okay asante sana asante sana uh, ka- kabla sio kabisa ndio kuanza naomba mpite dada pa- Patricia kidogo ah uh, atemtamani uh, wataalamu wetu tuna hapa leo kwa tuna tumsikie mtangao kabla kukuja kwa daktari Hamza Patricia twende kwa Hamza na Okay Hamza karibu Okay napenda tuniongezee kwa Dr. Fi tatizo la awareness ndio solution kubwa sana. Hata awareness kwa healthcare wenyewe ni tatizo sababu healthcare wenyewe ambao wako katika nchi hii wengi wana matatizo. Kuwa tunafanya utani tunasema daktari hawapaswi kupata ufunguo wa dawa hospitali ni kwa sababu ya kuwa biuzi madawa wataalamu wengi wa afya kwa ajili ya mazingira magumu ya kazi na kazi zao ngumu kufanya kazi muda mrefu kuna waathiri so unarudi nyumbani umechoka unakutana na family problem kwa kweli mambo ya bills matatizo yameongezeka bills zimeongezeka kwa hiyo ina affect familia kwa hiyo basi awareness ndio the solution kubwa kwanza kuwe na awareness naweza nikawapa mfano mmoja tunapotangaza kusema tunafanya mental health team talks Hai watu wengi kulinganisha na magonjwa mengine yote. Swala so, moja ambalo nipa wasiwasi watu wanafikiria kwamba kwa sababu mental health hayui watu kama magonjwa ya moyo, stroke, labda kisukari na vitu vingine. Kwa hiyo haiwavuti sana. Lakini watu wanashindwa kukumbuka kwamba mental health ina affect familia nzima na ina affect vile vile kuna sasa hivi watu wengi wanajua suicide rate ni kubwa sababu long this mlosema hii mental health in affect familia as a whole. Tumekuwa na antisocial behavior meetings eh, Patricia amekuwa aki coordinate wakati tunauliza watoto what's the problem kwa nini mnaenda kwenye madawa gangs wanazungumzia kukosekana kwa role model kwa mm-hmm. watoto wao kwenye single family lakini most of them inatokana na mental health. Watoto wetu wanaenda kutumia madawa huko mashuleni, mitaani, wapi wanapata mental health hizo vitu havijulikani mpaka siku tunaposikia mtoto fulani amepata hivi au rafiki yako anakuambia au sengine watu contact weda hilo ni tatizo sasa kwenye hii awareness attendance it is problem ninapozungumza with health kuliko magonjwa yoyote nini tuweze kuleta awareness sisi wenyewe nilivotoa imialiko ya mental health last time na this time ni mwatumia watu kama tano nyuma viongozi wa dini ndio nimekuwa na pesa wa tumia pesa no wakati tumefanya viongozi wa dini na wanakujibu ndakwepo ndakwepo lakini unakuja kukuta attendance ni watu kumi. leo hii nimewatumia tukotokea mwanzo wa wiki hii watu wengi personal mpaka wataalamu wa afya walioko nyumbani wana wanajibu wata attend lakini kiangalia namba hapa ni ndogo sana hii inaonyesha watu kwamba hawako interested kwanza kujifunza hasa wa Tanzania ya pili unapozungumza mental health ndio kabisa una lose interest hapa kuna nini unaona kama ni ujinga fulani lakini ukisema tunazungumza sukari au kitu fulani wapo kwa hiyo swala lingine ambalo umesugusia Dr. Fi upande wa utumiaji wa madawa sio mental health tu kila siku nakutana na Watanzania na nyumbani na hapa ambao wanapewa dawa labda za pressure au za sukari wanatumia baada ya mwezi anakuambia nilishatumia za mwezi zilikwisha ni fikiri nimepona Alafu ukiongea naye unaambia hizo dawa ni za maisha anaambia hakuna shortcut. Hakuna kitu naweza nikatumia ikawa na nini. Nimekutana na watu wiki hii watatu hapa Uingereza wiki hii. Kwa nini una, unakuwa na problem pressure iko juu? Ah doctor silipo dawa za mwezi niko na nikamaliza ni wasomi. Niko na nimepona. Mwingine anakuambia sasa doctor hakuna nani nyingine ambayo naweza nikatumia badala ya kuna nini ya kumeza vidonge. Sasa mm-hmm. 
Mm. Hili tatizo lipo hata kwa wasomi wengi nimelikuta nyumbani watu wa Malekcha University wanakuja naongea nao wanaambia daktar wana hamna kitu kingine bwana na nini yani hata dawa kawaida ya moyo anajua itamuua lakini bado hataki sio kwamba tu ni mental health per se utumiaji wa madawa kwa watu nyumbani na ile naitwa um, eh, compliance ni tatizo kwa sababu anaweza akatumia madawa akaendelea kunywa pombe zake na dawa mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. na saa nyingine ukimwandikia hata na antibiotic kwa mfano za siku saba akimeza siku mbili alafu ndio anakuambia nimeacha kwa sababu nimejia sinisikia fine niko fine hilo ni tatizo awareness tu kwa mental health awareness kwa ajili ya kila kitu lakini mental health ni tatizo kubwa kuigawa familia na kuleta problem kwa watoto mama au baba ni problem kwa hiyo kitu kimoja ambacho nafikiria tunapofanya awareness lazima kuwepo vivutio kama nyumbani unaweza ukasema tunaleta msanii fulani watu watajia. Mhm. Sasa hapa tunafikiria tufanye nini ili wavute watu ili wakusikiliza uongee kuhusu mental health baadaye mtu anasema ah da. Kumbe mimi sikujua nilikuwa na sonona depression. Ah kumbe sikujua nilikuwa na suicide ideation kumbe nilikuwa niko low of the low. Ndio anakuja anashtuka lakini kitu kingine ambacho cha mwisho nazungumzia kuhusu kuna watu ambao wengi wanaenda kwa viongozi wa dini hapa na nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Watu wanaenda kuombewa kwenye makanisa hapa kuondolewa mapepo majini. Mm-hmm. Watu wanaenda kwa mashehe kwenda kusomewa na nihi kwamba una jini anaenda kusomewa Qur'ani. Lakini ni mental health. Mm-hmm. Lakini siku tulivyoalika wa viongozi wa dini ilikuwa ni very tabu labda tulipata mmoja wawili. Mm-hmm. Lakini wao wenyewe wanakuambia wanataka hii kitu ifanyike lakini hawapo. Kitu ambacho kwa nini tumefanya mental health tulipenda kwenye Tanzania day watu wengi wale tu approach wakasema tuna matatizo ya mental health hapa kwa nini mnafanya vitu nyumbani tu heda lakini hao hao waliozungumza hizo vitu tumewaalika personally personally hawakutokea kwa hiyo huo ni tatizo hili la awareness ndilo la ambao ni kipaumbele lipewe lakini vivutio vya kuwafanya watu waje ndio litasaidia lakini ukisema tunafanya web ya nani hata conference tu ya watu wa attend hawawezi kuja kama mna kivutio mkifanya hizi e, za kwetu za zoom nini sidhani kama mnapata kwa sababu hata wataalamu watokei viongozi wa dini hawatokei kwa hiyo awareness okay. iambatane na kitu ambacho kitawaleta watu kusikilize okay asante sana napenda kuangalia mnanisikia sasa hivi eh tunakusikia ah i don't know what was happening with my earphone Yeah. Okay you, okay. Uh, endelea hiyo time if you have something oh, to add katika oh, oh, Dr. Hamza vitu alivyo sema vyote yani is absolutely a second you 100% na vinahitaji time unajua kwa mfano muongea drug and alcohol misuse on young people kwenye community zetu is really really bad ali is acts hapa london sijui huko kwenu nje fi manchester and other bars lakini in london is really bad It's really bad. Kuna wa Tanzania wengi tu, wengi tu young people wametoka kwenye families ambazo wengine we know them, wengine we don't know them. They have a lot of drug misuse ambazo they don't accept kuwa in a lead to mental health. They just think is one of wana tena anakuambia kabisa mimi navuta tu once in a while lakini unakuta ameshaanza ku develop drug injuries. Ukianza kuuliza once in a while ni mara ngapi anakuambia kwa wiki ni mara tatu tu lakini imeshaanza kumletea matatizo wanaanza kupata drug induced psychosis is very common very popular kwa Tanzania hapa and it's coming up really fast ilianza i saw it first wakati nafanya kazi felt me young offenders 2012 13 sasa hivi nimeona percentage hapa London ya Tanzania ime develop young people kwenye hizi family zilizototetwa na kuwa wengi sana wako kwenye drugs. Na hii issue kama alivyosema Dr. Hamza, we last time tulifanya na Dr. Salim kule backing we did the young people nikaleta paka mtu from prison and waligusia we talked a lot about things. Watu wali turn up na, lakini not as much as wengine ambao wenao matatizo they didn't turn up ambazo I know them wali shani approach in the past. Ani kama alivyosema probably Dr. Hamza wa Tanzania need a lot of motivation. Tunaweza tukawa kila siku tunafanya hizi webinar zetu like you see now like today attendance is 12 na tume spread kila sehemu. 12 na Tanzania tuko karibia laki mbili and over. Mm. Ani hatujafika hata 0.1% of it. Ani it needs uh, um kama anavyosema Dr. Hamza probably vivutio. I don't know what Tanzania need those kind of stare ambazo probably kama ile Tanzania day unaelekea bend unaelekea si ndio uambie kuhusu mental health. I don't know if that's what will mm. work. 
but uh, things like kama vile Tanzania day kama ni kulikuwa kuna chakula kuna nini probably they need that kind of session where there has to be a lot of things that attract them to come and mm. they don't have motivation to idea kwenye health na kwenye wazazi ambao wanajua tutu zao wanachukua drug na end up kwenye mental these parents as well you'd be surprised they know it lakini mm. they don't know how to go about things You know any mm-hmm. bad or they 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 as well when I go up and I can get what I know come my failed parents as well mm-hmm. as women we need to encourage them we need to and to keep prepare web na seven now we need to cover because there's a lot of things to cover there's a lot of young people to cover with drug and alcohol abuse and boy in a lead kwenye mental health there's a lot of as well to cover as parents as parents yeah. that they need to approach because while we near they feel when they were can get their failed parents like now they can kama vile you know sijafanya chochote na pia kama mvongea previously like a poor um uh, poor poverty area dani huku same london a lot of bars sasa hivi ziko kwenye ziko kwenye high poverty level ambazo hata kwenye gp services as well services wame reduce wame mm. cut off a lot paka kwenda kupewa appointment kwa gp inaweza kachukua weeks unakuta weeks mm. mtu amekata tamaa anafikia you know what I can't I think maybe to kifanya is webinars is where we can tell them you know they might not be able to reach to, uh, to the GP like in the even come to us we can find a way of get through to the GPs mm. or other because to go within already healthcare professionals we can find a way a link or we can have a, another community service only for East Africans for Tanzania where to mm. to na drop in services You know mm-hmm. I have I have a sort of doing that last year like in Mambia ilikuwa mengi sana where you have a you have a drop in center for mana kuna a lot of nationals they have caribbean they they tried yeah. asian mm-hmm. bangladesh mm-hmm. pakistan wana so much issues mm-hmm. the alcohol na yenyewe unakuta wana some places ambazo they cover just them people we can find a drop in center for only what tanzania where we have people come on one to one basis where ambao unaweza ukaruka refer ukapata direct referral kwa gp local area ambao anaweza kumsaidia cuz gp as well at least in, in saving ni muda mrefu yani they cut services zimekuwa cut na watu wenyewe wanakuwa na less less and motivation akiona gp inachukua appointment three weeks uh, they, they're like you know what they just move on to another thing like in our area is becoming worse their mental mm. state becoming worse their perception how they see things is becoming worse women sasa hivi unakuta mwingine amevunjika tu mguu amekaa ndani hajafanya kazi ajenda nje ameanza ku develop uh, depression which is very pop which is very common as well kwa hiyo is like i said atutaweza kuwa na majibu right now lakini mm. we need time we need to plan like kwa Tanzania they have no motivation of attending no sessions sio tu hapa hata Tanzania wa Tanzania mm. wapendi kujifunza ku attend kwenye seminar they feel like it's taking their time lakini ukiwekea chakula and entertainment maybe they turn up <laughs> so yeah okay as 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 sante sana kwa 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 mchango wako na feel uh wote tunakubaliana kwamba um awareness ni kitu ambacho ni muhimu na we have to be a bit more creative katika jinsi gani hii awareness uta, 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 uta na katika katika website yetu ambayo sasa hivi naifanyia marekebisho kutakuwa na sehemu ambayo utakuwa tunaweka vipeperushi ambao sasa wanaanza kuna information tutaweka watu waka download it and we can, like we can share with other people na hii recording to go to kwenye YouTube channel yetu kwa kwa hata summary tu ikawa ika, 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 5 5 minutes uh, talks na kama ikiwezekana vile vile tukachukua wataalamu wetu waka waka highlight uh, issues in a very short video yeah, in a very short tukashare tuka kwa sababu it's easier to share kwenye WhatsApp video fupi kuliko ni a long um, a long talk nafikiri hivi ni vitu ambavyo tunaweza tukajaribu katika uh, to see if we can capture a few more people uh, to make them aware of uh, uh, the state of uh, mental health in our, in our communities. Kwa hiyo na kwa hiyo nafikiri as na shukuru wote kwa michango yenu. Sasa um, I think that's the way forward. We need to increase uh, mental health awareness. Tunajua matatizo tatizo yako wapi na tatizo kubwa nafikiri lipo sisi kwa uh, sisi wenyewe uh, as a community za Tanzania we have we are so reluctant to ni wazito ni wazito ku attend um vidu vidu kama hivi nafikiri na vinatu affect sana na sasa tulipoanza 
kule mwanzoni nili niliuliza tu uh, kizushi kwamba wa Tanzania wengi walikuwa ni wagumu kumuona mtamu uh, hata kama mambo ya afya ya akili uh, au kumuona uh, daktari wa Tanzania na how do we get around this how can we improve sababu ni sisi amba, uh, wataalamu ambao tumetoka nyumbani tunatoka kuhudumia ndugu zetu sasa how can we get closer to them how can we get their trust kwa mkono ni mtu akiwa bwana naona kitu changu kiko sawa bana kamone dr fi siku fulani uko free ongea naye we can sit down with you we can find a solution for you au kama patricia you go free you somebody is free ko tuta tutaingia the how can we get the mind of our people ah uh, so kama kuna mtu anajibu na hilo naomba <laughs> dr fi kuna mikono huko ah uh, kama tusikilizia walionyesha mikono eh ah dr Salim alionyesha mkono kwanza dr Salim karibu bado yupo eh nipo mimi mimi nitaka kuzungumzia very briefly sijui kama kuna mtu ali touch issue ya immigration issue ya immigration imekuwa oh, ni kikwazo touch, lakini this time yeah go on yeah issue ya immigration imekuwa ni kikwazo na imekuwa ni cause pia kuna watu ambao mambo ya immigration yamewafanya waingie katika hiyo hali ya depression kwa sababu inabidi waishi katika maisha ya hide and seek lakini vile vile inakuwa ni ikwazo unapokwenda kwenye huduma kuna baadhi ya huduma ambazo unaambiwa kama huna um, NHS access kama huna right of residence huwezi ku access kwa hivyo hiyo ni, ni, ni ngumu kuifanya kuipatia ufumbuzi nilitaka kuileta tu briefly muda umekuwa umesonga lakini is something maybe we could put under the points that yeah. needs to be looked how we can support such uh, yeah. patients okay asante asa mimi nafikiri kwa kwa hilo kwa sababu watu kama hawa sisi we uh, we are not here to judge how they got here kwamba si natoka alikuwa mbovate msaada kwa hiyo mimi mtu akija kuniomba uh, msaada wa katika katika mambo ya afya I'll just deal with them as they are si, sio kwamba labda kama kama ni hospital lakini kaka kupata advice na nini I don't care what the immigration status is nafikiri tu tu wao wasiwe na wa, wasiwe na woga kwa kwa approach wa taalamu wetu ambao ni ambao they can speak the language you know they, they know it, and understand nafikiri da kwa ni kitu ambacho ni rahisi lakini ni swala gumu ku resolve katika nani lakini we can advise them na kuwasaidia kama 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 ndugu zao nafikiri that the best way we can do kuna kuna lulu hapo naona alipiga siku kabla ya Hamza lulu the dr Hamza yeah kama ya kufenjo na tumaini nyote mtu salama na topic nilioleta leo ni topic nzuri sana kwa sababu ina affect sana sana ndugu zetu hata pengine na si wenyewe japo we keep smiling lakini kama mlivyozungumza na mnavyozungumza kama alivyosema pia dr nani <coughs> dr moa popi na kama alivyozungumza ni kwamba immigration ndio lakini tuna immigration tuna families broken families sana sana tunaangaliwa sisi wanawake the fact that even me I'm a single mom but then tunakuwa tunasahau kwamba pia wanaume it affects them so kuna baadhi ya kuna baadhi ya wanawake pia tunasema kwamba we need only men uh, peke yao men watafutwe mababa peke yao kuna pia ndio kuna sisi kina mama ambayo tunaangaika pengine kina baba wamekosea sehemu kwa hivyo wao wanakuwa ndio matatizo lakini je tumesha taf, tu, tumesha tafakari tukaona je na kuna mababa wengine pia wanapata tabu wanateswa vile vile na hawa mababa pia wanatakiwa pia kuangaliwa kupewa kipaumbele. Sasa kwenye hii aspect tunajijua wenyewe, tulirogwa kitambo. So, kwa vile tumerogwa kwenye issue ya mental health hatuwezi kufika. Tukiambiwa anakuja diamond tutajaa wote. So, tukifanya shughuli kama vile wakifanya kina Dr. Hamza akituita hapo kwenye Tanzania Day, tutatafuta viwaro hata vya milioni ngapi tutafika. Je, kwa nini tusifanye tufanye tuwe tunafanya maybe Uh, once in a month lakini nayo itakuwa costly that's the fact mm. ama tuifanye mara nne kwa mwaka 
kwamba tunafanya kwamba kuna kuwa na watu wanakutana mikutano kama hiyo watu wanakutana lakini watu wakishakutana kabla watu wajaanza kula na kufanya vyote vyote wapate tu hata kama nilio biryani la lesta lakini kuwe na watu ambao wamekuja kwamba instead of doing la like, kama tunavyofanya sijui watu wamepewa certificate watu wamefanya vitu gani we stay the whole day kuzunguka pale kuonyesha styles na watu wana dance tuwe tunafanya topics tuwe tunaleta topics za muhimu especially hii ya mental health kingine um, group kama hii group ya tuheda tukiwa tunasema kwamba okay now we can tenga wanaume na wanawake kwa sababu wanawake wanaweza wakashindwa kuongea mbele ya wanaume wanaume wanaweza kushindwa kuongea mbele ya wanawake kwa sababu pengine anataka kumchumbia dada fulani pale na huyu dada pia pengine naye yupo pale sijui mnanielewa tuongee tu ukweli let's call a, you know a spade a spade sasa so, so, kwa nini tusifanye kama kikundi kinatembea kila mji kuwe na maybe if it's breakfast meet the breakfast to head a breakfast with all daddies or mummies ladies na, ladies lunch with to head and then when we are having that lunch we are discussing something abnaza tukachukua hata hall ya hall ya community while we are there as long as we've got a, as long as there is this um, projectors then we bring this issue so we are tunaenda kwenye chimbuko kule tunaweza tukawapata watu wakaji feel kwamba okay we've thought about them it's about girls out then we bring this topic with tumeshazungumza hapo ina maana wakitoka pale kila mtu atajiuliza and then we come up another solution maybe we have a phone line katika hii phone line kuwe na watu maybe watu wa people who have done mental health people in the psychology background ambao watakuwa wanapokezana ili kusudi kwamba kuwe na e-line kuwe na mtu ambaye ana imani inakuwa month maybe if it's 12 hours a day ama ni usiku mpaka muda fulani kwa hivyo mtu akipiga simu hajui anaongea na nani kwa hivyo we get the details tujue ana matatizo gani ili kusudi hilo tatizo linaweza likapatiwa lika, lika mtu mtu mhusika ambaye anaweza kulifuatilia ili kusudi at least katika kila city or it's that one number ambayo watu wanaweza wakapiga wakapata hizo namba na tutakuwa na information kusema kwamba at least tunajua Milton Keynes wako watumia ambayo wana service users who need this so that is one idea of how we can tackle the other one ni hiyo kuchukua hold to book maybe daddy's day out tuzungumzie kwa sababu pia daddies when when we come to daddy's they let us down in another way that kama baba hayupo kwenye nyumba wengine wetu tumezaa wana watoto wa kiume wanakuwa nalelewa na, na wanawake unless mwanamke ni ngangari unless mwanamke ni shupavu watoto wata, watoto unajua kama mtoto wa kiume mama akimwambia kitu kama msikilizi hata msikiliza na wat, sisi wazazi wetu sisi waswahili sana tunakuwa kwamba hatuwezi kumpush mtoto ama mtu anaona kwamba mtoto wangu kama kwa sababu anavuta bangi nikienda kumsema sijui society itanichukuliaje niko na rafiki yangu mmoja hapa kwa mfano tena yeye ni na ni, ni, ni counselor lakini mtoto wake alivyoanza kuvutishwa bangi na baba yake kwa sababu baba alikuwa anafanya anauza bangi mama akaachana na huyo baba lakini watoto wakienda kwa baba baba na anawaonyesha iko wazi ana role nao na anawaambia nani pia nyi tumieni kwa sababu mimi nikiwa umri wangu nilikuwa natumia which that happens to our society to our community lakini sasa huyu mama alichokifanya alimchukua mtoto wake mwenyewe na kumpeleka polisi na kwenda kusema mtoto wangu anatumia hiki na sitaki atumie akawaambia aka polisi naombeni mumlaze ndani ili kusudi ajue yani how it is lakini mtoto akitoka kienda kwa baba baba anamwambia usimjali mama yako utatumia hii mama alitumia mbinu yake yote kumchukua mtoto kumpeleka aende kwenye reform kwe, kukaa kule na mtoto sasa hivi yuko university anasoma medicine so i'm proud of her kwa sababu she stood for her children what was right for her children hakutaka kujua kwamba nani atasema hiki wala nani atafanya hiki mimi nimesimama kwa ajili ya mtoto wangu ili afaidike lakini ukirudi kwetu sisi sasa mimi hapa naona ah dr Hamza tajua kweli mtoto wangu anavuta bangi kwa hivyo sitaki instead of me kwenda kumwambia nani kaka jamani mimi mtoto wangu yuko hivi nifanyeje siyo mtu naelewana sasa sisi sote tunataka tuoneshane kwamba we are the best you know which hicho ni kitu ambacho kinachotuangusha na watu ambao wanauza wazazi wadada wa, wa wanaouza vitu hivi wanatakiwa pia wapate masomo kwamba hata tukiwa tunaongea na hawa watu wote kwamba please 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 mambo yenu msifanye mbele ya watoto wenu msifanye kitu kama hicho mkafikiri kwamba nyie ndo mababe ndio mtakuwa mababe at that point lakini hawa watoto maisha yao wacheni let them find their way 
in our society, we are losing a lot of kids because parents are, are dealing. So how are you going to tell wewe tu sisi hapa twende tukamwambie you you wewe mtoto utakiwa kufanya hii kwa sababu hichi ni kitendo kibaya wakati daddy is doing the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so ni hayo tu asante ni. Asante sana Dalufa kwa mchango wako. Asante sana Dr. Hamza. Please. Mchango wa Dalulu umekuwa mzuri umezidi kufungua uh, mambo mengi mambo mengine yalikuwa ni yaongee vile vile ambayo yanohusiana na watu alichoongelea. Matatizo ya mental health sio hayo tunazungumza tu kuna tatizo kubwa la autism ambayo tunaita usonji ili tatizo ni kubwa sana kwa familia zetu hapa UK familia nyingi zina watoto na dawa zao nyingi ni za mental health aidha zinakuwa zile e, watoto tundu tunaita ADHD au tunawapa za depression au za antipsychotic kwa hiyo si pediatric ambao wanahusika sana kuwatibua watoto ni mental health. Watu wengi wa dementia kwenye familia zetu. Tuna watoto ambao wana disability kama down syndrome na nyingine. Hawa watoto wote ninaowaambieni wanaathiri familia kisaikolojia. Si watoto vile vile ambao wanahitaji huduma za afya akili. Vile vile wanachohitaji na familia zipate support. Sasa nini ndio kuongea? Tulikuwa tunaangalia watu wengi hawajui namna kupata huduma na hawajui right zao. Je, wanahitaji wapate cares, kwa wao wanakuja nyumbani, wanatakiwa wapate transport, wanatakiwa wapate extra pay. Hawajui haki zao. Watu wengi tumekuwa tunawasaidia wakikutana na mtu mwingine labda amepitia ile sehemu anasema, "Oh, una style mtoto wako apate gari, mtoto wako anatakiwa apate care wawili, mtoto wako anatakiwa aende kwenye special school." Hivi vitu hata nyumba, watoto wengi wanakuwa naishi chumba kimoja na wazazi nasema ambao ni hatarishi watoto wa hawa wengi wa disabled autism e, disabled kama me, na ni down syndrome na, wengi, na wengine wanahitaji space wanahitaji kuwa na chumba chao na vitu ambavyo vina vinaendana na ugonjwa kwa hiyo watu wetu wengi au familia hawajui right zao kama wanataka wapate nyumba kubwa wakiwa na hizi kwa hiyo kuna familia ambazo unawa direct unaambia unahitaji barua za daktari za walimu na support wengine wanafuna wapi mpaka waende kwa wabunge wanaweza wanapata huduma zile. Kwa hiyo hata wazazi wanapata muda wa kubreed sababu wazazi wengi wanaathirika vile vile katika afya akili kwa sababu ya watoto wana matatizo ya kama haya. Sasa basi kitu chochoongea da lulu. Tunaweza kukaa tunafanya shughuli kama hizi sio kwamba mara nne kwa mwaka wote. Kila mji una watu wake labda Coventry Leeds wapi London. Tunaweza tukasema London tutakuwa na nyama choma. Lakini nyama choma hii inaendana na mental health awareness. We don't have to talk two hours three hours the discussion group tunafanya kama nani kama tunavyofanya gazile eh, discussion group za watu wachache labda watu 20 40 kuna nyama choma pale na vinywaji eh watu wakisema kuna nyama choma watakwenda kwa hiyo siku nyingine mtasema Milton King sisi tumejipanga watu wa mental health wapo kule wafanyakazi wa care au ambao ambao hata wa specialized mental health au ambao hawajawa wa psychologists whatever wanakutana na hizi cases. Watanzania wengi wanafanya care homes whatever ni kama wataalamu. Kwa hiyo wanaweza akasema tunakufanya session hii ya wanawake ladies out. Wanawake leo tutakuwa na nani hii alafu tuweka na taarabu yetu au tuweka na kitumbuizo pale na nyama choma. Watu watakuje wata discuss matatizo wanawake wataalamu wawili watatu na sio lazima waalike wataalamu ambao ni wakwetu tuweza tukapata hata wataalamu marafiki zetu kwenye community zingine wakawepo pale wakatoa haki nusu saa sasa haraka haraka tu kwa sababu ya muda kitu kingine ambacho kinazofanya wenzetu wanafanya vipeperushi wewe utapata huduma kwenye lugha zao eh labda tunapofanya hivi vitu unakuwa na vipeperushi tukifanya Tanzania Day jamani kama huduma za watoto wenye usonji au nini contact hivi lakini sisi kama tuenda tunaweza tukaweka katika website yetu tukaweka link mental health support kwa sababu kuweka mtu apokee simu itakuwa ni ngumu ni kama very hard and impossible kwa hiyo tunaweza kaweka link kwamba watu wakapata zile website ambazo zitakuwa na link ya kupata huduma kwa watoto wenye ambao ni disabled kwa watu wenye depression na nini link ambazo za kuwa guide kwa kweli kitu cha ambacho mmekizungumzia nyuma na daktar dada Ana Lovilo hapo amezungumza kupata msaada wa GP kwenye miji yetu mikubwa hasa London is like impossible. Hata kuongea na GP is very impossible. Unaongea na admin pale anakuambia appointment baada ya 2 weeks. Ni kama as exists kwa hiyo ni hilo tu. 
Okay, uh, asante sana. Muda muda umekuwa so rafiki sana hii. Kuna mkono mmoja ambao inabidi uh, uko na mkono studio kwa na Muhammad Adana. Hoja Adana kam dakika kama da, chap chap dakika dakika moja mbili. Uh, <laughs> kabla tujafunga. <laughs> to be fair, point ni nataka ku raise zote zimeshakuwa raise. Lakini kitu kimoja nataka niseme ni kwamba from my personal na professional experience mental health na caring for mental health patients kwenye family is a very lonely situation it can be very um inaweza inakuwa isolating kwa hiyo sasa especially kwetu wa Tanzania kama ilivyosemwa before ku access service kuna barriers nyingi kuna mtu anahitaji afanye shift haizi kwenda kwa GP sana yaambiwa kwa hiyo haendi kwa GP hana hana uwezo wa kukansel kazi aende kwa GP au ampeleke mtoto wa umume ya mke kwa GP hiyo ndio poverty inavyotoa effect mtoto anaweza akawa anaumwa aka self um, medicate kwa drugs kwa hiyo ujui kipi kimekuja kwanza drugs au ugonjwa ku access service police anaishia kwa police anaishia prison system etc 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 and the vicious cycle continues sasa basi kwa aidha mgonjwa au kiara kama nilivyosema ni ni very long mimi nichukua nataka nipendekeze on top yaliyosemwa kuhusu website get togethers etc et na mara nyingi unakuta muhitaji haji kwenye hizi events uh-huh. sasa basi labda tuwe kwa mfano mimi sikujua kwamba dr fi kwa haya niliogadha na nagadha kwamba labda uko ni specialist wa mental health mimi sikufahamu uh-huh. hilo na na uhakika wa Tanzania wengi Milton Keynes hatujui kwamba kuna dokta mswahili ambaye unaweza tu kumomba ushauri obviously kwamba jamani mtoto wangu anaongea mwenyewe halali usiku kucha anaongea mchana kutwa etc nifanyeje ukamwambia kwa Kiswahili fanya ta kwa GP nenda AKMK fanya hichi fanya hichi alafu naambia umefikaje alafu naambie tena alafu naambie tena kwa hiyo kabla haja giver kuna mtu tayari amemshika mkono anamwambia tunde hivi tunde hivi tunde hivi au kabla mambo ya jao west mtoto akaishia kwa polisi maki akiwa na psychosis yuko barabarani akaanza kupiga gate na kushika anaishia kwenye system kwa hiyo pendekezo langu lilikuwa kwa mfano mimi niko Milton Keynes sisi watu wa Milton Keynes sasa hivi tuna organization tukijua who we can contact mimi mtu akanjia ana na, na tatizo hili naye naambia sifahamu lakini ngoja nikuulizie mtu fulani unifahamu mm-hmm. kwa tayari tunakuwa tuna if you like more nani chance ya kupata education kwa sababu kwa mfano Dr. Fee, Dr. Hamza watu wote waliokuwa humu anaweza akamweducate akamwambia tu njia ni hii 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 nenda alafu we are here we are not with you lakini we are here for you ile nadhani kwa community yetu inasaidia ku raise awareness inasaidia ku access services better um, na yote ya mengine yaliyosemwa kwa hiyo kwa, kwa mimi pendekezo langu ni hilo uh, named individuals our named places sis wa Tanzania we can go to waswahili to access um information in advance okay asante sana asante sana sana nafikiri kuweka number na fikiri what we can do kwenye website leo tukaweka hata email contact ambayo is easy to access badala ya kuweka number pale ya kadoke kwa sababu anyone can access the website asi yeah. mtakao anapata simu za jabu ajabu na nini so i think uh, tunaweza tukaweka email contact pale mtu kama kuna issue ukaulizia then you can respond to that bwana mtu ni huyo ongea dr fi ongea na patricia and so yeah. forth so kwa nafikiri we, we try to find a solution for that uh, nafikiri watu zuri uh, kwa jinsi watu um, watakuwa wanapata msaada au na um, advice whatever they need. Ana topic imekuwa tamu sana na muda umekuwa sio rafiki. Maana tuko hapa karibu saa moja na nusu. Kwa hiyo nafikiri <laughs> uh, time nafikiri ningewakaribisha wataalamu wetu angalau watupe maneno ya mwisho. Um say what we can do for people kwamba angalau kuwa kuapa nini kwamba assurance kwamba wakituambia au wakiongea na mtamu wa Tanzania issue yao is confidential sio kama inapoenda kwenye kwenye mtandao afiki that the main worry sometimes ndio kuna wengine hawajui kwamba dr fini mtamu ambaye mental health au nani anafanya kazi lakini 
katika experience yangu wengi wanaogopa kuwa Sunday wanaogopa kwamba ah na sibu ngana na sibu na sibu ataongea na friend and no it doesn't work like that I'm a doctor and uh, uh, I value my registration and I I respect my job because what is come to the office stay in the office kwa hiyo watu wasiwe na wasiwasi kama mtu kama ana tatizo ongea na mta, na mtaalamu ambaye ni ndugu yako eh mnaongea lugha moja mtaelewana tu tu hapa kusaidia ndugu zetu kwa hiyo nafikiri uh, za katika on that note na kuacha dr fi then dr nani dada patricia to give the fact one minute karibu <laughs> dr asante eh, kwa kweli discussion imekuwa nzuri sana <laughs> tumepata mawazo mengi mno Uh, dada bupe hapo anaturekodia hii hii alafu tutakuwa na minutes zetu tutajaribu ku, kuziweka um, vizuri ili tuzitumie katika ku, 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 kuyafanya haya mambo yote yaliyo yaliyo kuwa suggested um, kwa kifupi sana um, communication is key eh? tuaminiane sisi wote ni watanzania tuwasiliane uliza nani anaweza kumsaidia kwenye matatizo ya afya ya akili utapewa ushauri nani ataweza kukusaidia um, vile vile kama ikishindikana kama wanavyosema GP appointments hata wiki mbili nenda mapokezi in fact unaweza kupata services haraka zaidi kuliko kumsubiri kwenda kwa GP sasa sijui kwa London kuko vipi lakini wengi wakikwama kwa GP wanakwenda mapokezi kwa sababu pale mapokezi kuna kitengo maalum wanaitwa mental health liaison services utapelekwa kwa wataalamu wa afya ya akili moja kwa moja pale pale mapokezi. Kwa hiyo unaweza ukamruka GP nenda mapokezi watakupeleka moja kwa moja kwa mtaalamu pale ndani mapokezi. Kuanzia pale sasa GP atapewa taarifa tu kwamba ukutushamuona fanya hiki fanya hiki fanya kile. Tumemwanzishia dawa au tumemwelekeza huku nini. Kwa hiyo automatically services unazozihitaji zitaanza kuweku ku, ku, kujipanga maana usiogope kwenda mapokezi. Kingine um, tuendelee kuelimishana, tutaendelea kujitahidi kuweka um, vipeperushi vya Kiswahili katika um, website yetu, watu waweze kuvipitia na kuuliza maswali wakihitaji kuelewashwa zaidi. Na washukuru sana kwa kuattend katika nani session yetu ya leo. Asante sana. Asante sana Dr. mapokezi kwa kwa wale ambao ni accident AE kwa sababu hata hapa si kila siku watu ambao wanatoa hapa mimi nafanya kazi ya na wale wote bo tunaona wagonjwa karibu kila siku napata wagonjwa watatu wa nne is a big problem kwa hiyo sihofie kuja yani hata kama huna makaratasi it doesn't matter it's not our job to judge we are not immigration services Kwa hiyo kama mtu ana makaratasi ana tatizo unakwenda ANE nchi hii unatibiwa. Kwa hiyo people should, should not be scared. Uh, Patricia, please. Asante, I wanted to ask uh, Dr. Fee mapokezi ni nini? Until amesema mental health nikajua oh anamaanisha ANE. reception. You know <laughs> so ule kwetu ANE ndio mapokezi bwana kwa Kiswahili. Ani paka ugosema mental liaison nikajua cuz tonight I'm going to work at mental liaison Nanza Sambili. Ah okay. There you go. I work <laughs> in Nakwanga North oh. Middlesex so we cover North London. So Okay. Yeah, but anyway I wanted to say uh um mental health we know is huge and is challenging at the moment and you want to Ani, we should have uh, we should be we can be a point of contact kama mwezi kupata access to the gp what what you kabisa to head that we are professionals we are confidential we are private and we are very much personal centered we only been doing for your best interest atuta atuta simu wajuma kumpa story au mtoto wa fulani amekuja people should know that when you come to us we are professional just like how we work with nhs that's how we're gonna work and treat you you know we're gonna treat you as a patient and mostly we're gonna treat you as a family 
but uh, people should not be scared to come and speak to us because to know when your community to society is mental it won't cover today it won't cover tomorrow it won't it won't even cover to kifanya kwenye tanzania day it